What's up guys, Rob from Clicks Geek. In today's video, I want to show you how to find keywords. Really easy for Google Ads to uh, do your keyword research and build out your ad groups and all that fun stuff. So if you're looking at my screen right now, you're gonna see we're in one of my accounts. What you're gonna do is go up, I'm not sure if you'll see this little, re little wrench icon on the top called Tools and Settings. You're gonna click that. You're gonna come over here to Keyword Planner. You're gonna choose that. Let that do its thing and open up. And also, there's, so there's, two, there's two different ways you can do it. Well, there's a lot of different ways, but the two main ways that I do, there's you can build out your ad groups before you build the campaign so we can have our ad groups right here ready to go, or you can actually build them in the Keyword Planner and, and import them into your um, campaign. So in this video, though, I'm going to go with um, option one, and we're going to build out our ad groups in a Google Sheet, and that way we can just copy and paste into our campaign and, and get ready to go. But the main theme of this video, guys, is how to find keywords and the types of keywords to find because there's a difference between just throwing a bunch of keywords together and um, finding keywords that actually drive phone calls and leads. All right, so let's get right into it. So we're in the Keyword Planner here. You're going to come to Discover New Keywords. So let's say in this example we're building a campaign for, what should we do today? How about air conditioning repair? Something like that. AC stuff. All right, so let's say the main theme of the campaign is going to be AC repair. Air conditioning repair. All right, get results. So we've typed in our main theme. And now is how we're going to find, we're going to show you how to find our your ad groups for your campaign now. All right, so we'll space this out. So obviously AC repair, we're gonna take that. That's gonna be an ad group. So all the keywords in this ad group are gonna be AC repair theme only. Very important, gotta keep relevancy. Air conditioning repair, you can put air conditioning repair in um, under AC repair, just instead of breaking off. So let's just build out AC repair first. So AC repair near me, we'll drop that. AC repair ad group, air conditioning repair. All right, so we're looking for only people who are searching for air conditioning repair. They have an urgent need, they need help. All right, scroll down, air conditioner repair near me. That's a good one for this ad group. HVAC repair. So if we're doing AC just AC repair or AC service type stuff for this campaign. Here's another ad group, AC installation. So I would actually make this the ad group. One second. AC installation would be the theme for the ad group. Next up, we would drop that right here. Start building out our keywords for that ad group. You guys see what I'm doing here? Very simple stuff. AC companies near me, so AC company. That's a new ad group. So we're just kind of doing high level stuff here, guys. We're just finding our ad group themes. You can drop that keyword in there. AC repair services, that's a keyword that goes under AC repair. And central air repair, that's going to be its own ad group. So we got our themes going here. So let's just say we what we did this, we went through, obviously you want to go through all the way down and find all of your ad groups. Air conditioning contractor, that's an ad group. Emergency furnace repair, not, but emergency air AC repair, that could be its own ad group. You have, you have uh, emergency type ads in there. Central air conditioning, we have that. AC compressor repair, that's some ad groups. You want to go through and find all your ad groups. So let's just say you went through and you found all your ad groups. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to start digging down into each ad group and finding keywords for each ad group. So if AC repair is the ad group we're looking for keywords for, all we're going to do is come up here. We have our two main keywords already, and we're going to add a filter, which is keyword. And we're going to say AC repair first. Apply. So now Google's only going to show us keywords that have the words AC repair in them. And we can start adding keywords. Now, 
this is the difference between high intent and low intent keywords. All right, affordable AC repair. It's a higher intent keyword, so we're going to take that one. Portable AC repair. We don't really know what the intent of this keyword is. We don't know if this applies to a car or what. I mean, we could look into it, obviously, but for time's sake, we're just going to skip something like that. All right, AC repair services we have. Home AC repair near me. That's a keyword. So we'll take that one. AC unit repair. <clears throat> so the intent of this one is not really known because we don't really want to be fixing window units because that's a low value for the client if they get a call about fixing a window unit. But it could also be someone searching for a unit, like their actual unit that runs their house. So we're going to take that one. 24-hour AC repair. That's actually <clears throat> a good one. So we take that one. Emergency AC repair. Again, this could be its own ad group. I would probably put this in its own ad group and run just emergency style ads to it. AC repair cost. So the intent of this is somebody looking, they're price shopping. So I tend to stay away from cost keywords as of lately. And I suggest, um, I mean, you could test it. I, I'm just not, I'm only looking for the 100%, the you know, three pointers. I don't really want to uh, try and go after layups and stuff like that. Or rebounds, I should say. <coughs> AC compressor repair. That could be a good one. Cheap AC repair. I'm going to stay away from something with cheap just because the intent could be low. Price shopper, stuff like that. We don't really want to go after that kind of stuff. Best AC repair near me. That's a good one. Take that one. So you guys kind of see my logic here of how I'm picking these. Obviously, if you scroll down, there's going to be a bunch of ones that are not that relevant, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Honest AC repair. I'm going to stay away from that. Southern Comfort AC repair. That's probably a brand. You can stay away from that. That's a low intent keyword. This is stuff you don't want to go after. This is what low intent means. We don't really know what the intent of the search behind the search is. And if we're unsure, then we don't want to go after it because it could waste money and traffic and all kinds of problems. It could ruin your conversion rates. Spring AC repair. All seasons AC repair. This is all AC fan repair. So this could be good if you have an AC fan repair ad group. AC refrigerant leak repair cost. Actually, I would probably go after this, but we'll lose the cost at the end of it. Bryant AC repair. That could be a brand or a location. So this is kind of how I filter out low intent versus um, high intent. High intent is obviously somebody who's searching as an urgent need. All right, so let's just say we're all done here. We finished up. We found all our keywords for ad group one, which is AC repair. Next, we're going to AC installation. That's ad group two. So what we're going to do is come up here. We're going to cut these keywords loose. We're going to add in our second ad group keyword theme, which is AC installation. We're going to make sure we come down here and fix our filter. And we're going to make sure AC installation in all the keywords Google's going to show us and we'll start finding our keywords. We already have this one, I just want to double check. AC installation, yeah, there we go. Mini split AC installation, so this could be broken off into another ad group. And see guys, this is like a never ending, like you can keep finding ad groups that are good. This is a good way to build out your campaigns too. It's really time consuming, but I still love this old school way of doing it with Google Sheets, even though you can just choose the keywords and build a campaign in here pretty much, which I'll make a video on that in the future, but <clears throat> carrier AC installation. So that can, that's a brand of um, a unit. So you can actually create a brand ad group for that with carrier. AC installation service, that's a good one. We would keep that. AC installation service near me, that's a good one. We would keep that. New AC installation, we can keep that. 
Lowe's AC installation. This is what we don't want. That's low intent. That's somebody looking for Lowe's to install their AC stuff. Which we want to stay away from because obviously the client we're building this for is not Lowe's. <laughs> AC unit installation near me. That's a good one. AC installation contractor. That's a good one. So ductless AC installation. I would create a ductless ag group. And then that's where this would go. Because you want to be a, you want to make sure that in each of these ad groups, the ads in these ad groups are speaking to AC repair. They're speaking to AC installation. They're speaking to AC company, central air repair, mini split. That's really important. You can't have a mini split ad group with a bunch of mini split keywords and have an ad about AC repair. Okay? It's it's really it's the biggest thing we see when we do audits for people's campaigns, is they have these ad groups that they just clone the ads from every ad group, and every ad group has the same ads. With like a few minor tweaks, and you just can't do that. You gotta, you gotta break the ads down to what the the people are searching for in the ad group. It's all about relevancy and uh, intent. So Amazon EC installation, that's a low intent keyword. Low intent keyword. Central AC unit installation. I would actually create an ad group for that for central, so, so I can speak in the ads to the central AC units installation stuff like that. Another one, Lowe's, and obviously these are. And if you watch one of, one of my other videos about the keyword planner, you're going to see how I pick my negative keywords, and you're going to see some similarities between this video. This is how you would find your negatives too. Like Lowe's should be out of there. So that's what you do. Go through, find all your high intent ones. Add them into your ad group and move on to the next ad group, which would be AC company. Repeat, rinse and repeat, guys. Come up here, drop the theme of the ad group in, which is AC company. And I would also do AC companies as well. Search that. We want to make sure to change our keyword here. And for this one, you're going to have to do it twice. You're going to have to do company. first so we'll find all the company keywords and then come back and switch that to companies so AC company best AC company <clears throat> those are good ones not good one low intent looking for somebody else top 10 they're researching low intent don't want to do that not really sure what this is. It could be a location could just could be a brand so that's low intent Lloyd low intent AC all that's low intent carrier it's another brand AC repair company, so that could be a good one. So now, like the, the question always becomes: Does this go in AC repair or does this go in AC company? I would put the company in the in the company ad group. So AC repair company, best air conditioner company. That's really low intent. We don't really know what they're looking for. Are they looking for air conditioner to buy units for their house, or are they looking for someone to come fix something? So that's a perfect example of a of a low intent or unsure intent keyword that you want to stay away from. All company AC price, that's a brand, no good. Best AC company near me, that's a good one. Take that. AC service company, I would take that. AC repair company near me, I would take that as well. AC maintenance company, I would take that. Air conditioning units company, out again. That's another unsure intent. We don't we'll stay away from it. If you're unsure of the intent of the keyword, just don't go after it. That's it's really that. That's really it. So you can see here, guys. This is how you do it. You come through, and you just list out all your ad groups, and you find new ad groups, and you add them on the end, and you keep going, and you keep going. Now, depending on how much you want to spend or how much your client is spending, you can usually get away with a successful campaign with 10, 10 to uh, fifteen ad groups, ten to twenty-five actually, and. Um, that's all you really need to get going. You can always add on more the longer you go. So keep that in mind. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And check out the links in the description. I'll put some stuff in there for you guys. Um, I think I have a few. There's a few of our courses I'll drop links for. And also a free optimizer training. Where I go through and show you guys how to optimize your um, Google campaigns. So you'll, you'll definitely dig that.